there, friend. Welcome to Beneath the Fig Tree. I'm Rose, and I'm so glad you're here, like really a lot. And can I tell you something? We all know Bible reading and prayer are important. They're non-negotiable even. But I also think there's so much more to a great devotional life than the, quote, perfect quiet time we've all been taught about. I want to give you permission to lay down the guilt and the shame about what your devotional life looks like compared to what you think it should look like and discover how you best relate to God so you can cultivate a devotional life that you love and look forward to. I'll share loads of inspiration, tools, and encouragement to help you cultivate the kind of meaningful relationship with God that you've always longed for, but didn't know how to make happen. So if you're ready to breathe new life into your devotional life, grab a cuppa and let's chat. So today we're starting the 10 day do something challenge and it is a fig favorite that we do every year and I'm so excited to have you join us this time. Today's challenge is called to do list timeout. It's a little cheesy, I know, but just hang with me, okay? How many times have you tried to have a quiet time and your mind just kept drifting off with all those things that needed to get done? Listen, I totally have my hand raised here. That's actually where the idea came from. So I have a whole teaching on why we don't want our devotional life to be a part of a to-do list, but we can invite our to-do list into our time with God. Yes, seriously. (laughs) Instead of fighting those invitations from Mr. To-do list, we'll call him, we're going to invite him to join us. So here's how we're going to do that. When you sit down to plan out your day, start by taking a moment and just ask God what he has planned for your day together vacuuming, dishes, shopping, sure, okay, anything else. All right, now ask God to give you a verse or a thought to focus on throughout the day. And then you're going to add that verse or that thought to the top of your to-do list. Now, don't get hung up on the perfect verse or was that really God? Both of those are simply distractions to keep you from experiencing a genuine relationship with God. So a quick side note too is if you struggle to recognize God, really stick around. I love helping people learn how to hear God. Okay, so back to our challenge. The magic really happens when you take your list with you throughout the day. So every time you check something off of your to-do list, then just take a moment to focus on the verse or the thought that you wrote at the top. By the end of the day, you will not only have accomplished hopefully all the things on your to-do list or at least all the things God intended you to do, but you'll also have done it all while continually pointing your heart back toward God throughout the day. And this practice of bringing your heart and mind back to God, it's a game changer, but it takes practice. And one last thing, any time you're setting aside some time to be with God, don't be afraid of Mr. To-Do List. If he tugs at you with a chore you need to do, be kind to him and just jot it down on your list. He just wants to be seen and heard and God doesn't mind. He knows that if you can just go ahead and write the thing down rather than scolding yourself or being distracted, you'll be better able to spend your time focusing on him. I promise he really doesn't mind. In fact, he created you that way. Your mind was made to hold on to the information that it deems important until you do something with it. All right, friend, that's day one of the 10 day do something challenge. I would love to hear how today's challenge went for you. I've got several people that are sending them to me in the emails. I love that. You can also hop over into the Fix Community Facebook group uh, and then let us know there. Or if you're getting the emails, like I said, then feel free to just respond in the email at how that went for you. People are sharing their 
focus verses or their thoughts, they're sharing their to-do list or their aha moments. I love all of it. So share, share away. Also, if you found this helpful, make sure to follow or subscribe depending on where you're listening because I have lots more great ideas for your devotional life.